folks, it's Rob, as always, welcoming you back to the Video Gadgets Journal for another iOS update. Apple seems to be cranking these out on a weekly basis at the moment, but we are now currently looking at an update to iOS 10.1. Now this is a multi iOS device update, it's not just for the iPhone 7. So I have the iPhone 7 here updating for the exactly the same update, although the actual size of the updates is a little different, which is interesting. But I'm going to be updating the iPad in this video and as usual what I'll do is a fresh install of Airshow and a fresh test of an Airshow recording to make sure that everything is still working. So I will start the download and I will be back momentarily. See you in a few minutes. Okay, job done. That was a long, long update. But to confirm, we are up to iOS 10.1. For me, it took about 10 minutes. And we're now going to go through the usual Airshow installation process, which is to go to savagepool.com, tap on Get Airshow. That should bring up a pop-up asking me whether I want to install it, which I will say yes to. And uh, that should start putting Airshow on my device. Please ignore these two Airshow versions that you can see above. I've been asked about them a couple of times, but you don't need to worry about them. If anybody is really interested in how I've got three versions of Airshow on my iPad, then ask and I might do a video about it. Anyway, we're concentrating on the fresh iOS 10.1 install, which gives you the usual untrusted enterprise developer error. And to fix that, we go to general, profile and device management, tap on the certificate, blue words, red trust button, that should get the application verified. And does it work? Three, two, one. Of course it does. I don't think there's ever been an iOS update which has actually crashed Airshow completely. Obviously we have all sorts of problems with playback and all those things, but thankfully it never prevents the application from running. And we'll go straight into a recording on the 0 0.6.0 .0 version of Airshow. And we'll do all the tests which I can bring to you. So let me just make sure I'm recording everything in the right aspects. Okay, scroll up, airplane mirroring. That all looks ordinary. Let's hope a blue bar appears at the top, which it does. So recording has started. And as usual, I'll do a few swipes. Load up Clash of Clans so people can criticize my village as they always do. I've given up playing Clash of Clans, I must admit, ever since Clash Royale came out collect a couple of coins, go back to the home screen, back to Airshow, stop it, and that seems to have completed the recording. Let's go to the playback. Is it playing back the video? Yes, everything seems fine there, which is jolly good stuff. We'll put it in the photo gallery now by tapping save to camera roll. I'm smashing through all these tasks now because I do it so often for you guys, but I Hope you appreciate my quick testing whenever there is a new update. Uh, where are we? Camera roll, that's the 24 second video I just recorded and there we go. So everything looks to be playing fine with Airshow and recording fine, but I'm gonna do one more test to find out if we still have a problem editing videos in a video editor, which I should be able to quickly test. And I've been using iMovie to do these quick tests. Uh, we need to start a new video at this point. Projects, new project, movie. And we'll select that one. Create movie. And what should happen now is if the recording is not working properly, it should look all distorted when I'm dragging it, which it does. And it's frozen as well. So that still is a problem in iOS 10.1, but as I've said in a previous video, the fix to this is to import this video, make absolutely no changes to it, and then export it. And that creates a new video format, which is more friendly on iOS devices. And then you can start editing that video. So that concludes the iOS 10.1 update for Airshow. Nothing has changed, it installs fine, it records fine, and we still have one or two minor problems. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you've got any comments, drop them in the comment section below. And of course, we've got lots of things here telling you to like, comment and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the new music I put on this video. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.